Hi friends, welcome to the course Proverbs Expressive English presented to you by me, Amirtha Devrajan. You can follow me on Unacademy at this given URL to be regularly updated with all the lessons and courses I'm posting. And also I would take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who has been commenting or recommending or rating, reviewing and sharing. Thank you so much. I actually remember name. It's funny, uh, but I don't think it's the relevant platform to mention names and, you know, thank you individually. I would also like to thank An Academy and, you know, uh, they have been a great part in my life. And also I really want you guys to share these courses and lessons, not just mine, but of other educators whom you think deserve a share on relevant platforms so that an academy gets its share i mean it's doing so much if you look at the team an academy it's working so hard it would be great on your part if you could join hands and you know being part of this revolution you can be a member of an academy by sharing these videos so thank you so much please do that and recommend this this website an academy to so as many people as you can so i don't need to say this but your your feedback is definitely precious to me i've read each and every comment and sometimes i don't get the time to do so but i definitely take one day out and i check out all the comments and reply individually thank you so much and to those who ha whom i haven't replied i will reply as soon as possible thank you so much let's begin with today's lesson the first proverb is don't put the cart before the horse if you look at the picture it's funny how the horse is after the cart and the cart is before the horse it makes no sense what do you want i mean what what would this do i mean there's no result out of this it's just foolish so this proverb basically means that do not do things in wrong order it can also imply to impatient people who want to finish their work off and in doing so they you know pick up the order the shortest way out but it makes no sense if you want to enjoy the view he might sit here so that he gets an uninterrupted view the horse doesn't come neighing in between but this would no make no make no 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 sense at all if you see what will happen if the cart if the cart is before the horse you see uh, even if it moves it won't be able to you know carry the cart properly if the horse moves so it makes no sense and it would you know turn out to be a disaster let's look at the example tune the guitar first then play it don't put the cart before the horse because it makes no sense so stop being patient and do the things in the order which uh, is meant to be let's move on fools rush in where angels fear to tread well, this is a very famous proverb by Alexander Pope. He is one of the most prominent figures in the history of English literature. So, this proverb means that foolish people usually do not understand when a situation is dangerous. So, they are not afraid to do things that would frighten more sensible people. If you are a sensible person and if you do not know swimming, you won't jump in, into the middle of the ocean. But there might be few people who are saying, come on, it's life, let's enjoy it without a life jacket. Let's jump in between the ocean. We don't know swimming hardly matters, but we have to enjoy its life. Well, that would be the end of your life, certainly. So, you know, un until it's dead sea, of course. <laughs> so, you know, you cannot risk certain things and fools the people who are fools who do not understand the significance of the danger associated with certain things they usually rush to do things and the angels who are sensible and who know the risks and danger associated fear to tread they fear to do so and they they step off they back off that i don't think this is good for me and i won't do it look at this picture this is a place which is very hot and this person says come on let's go let's go there and this person is saying, no way. He, and then the proverb comes, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. So this angel is fearing to go there. It's, it's fearing to you know experience that thing which might be dangerous to him. But the fool says, let's go, come on, hardly matters. Right. Let's look at the example. Alan says, Bob is too scared to go in and confront the boss. So I'm going to. Jane says, Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Well, he's a fool that he's saying that I'll go up and I'll talk to the boss. But he doesn't understand the repercussions of it. See, it could be, you know, a foolish act going and talking to boss about whatever he wishes to talk about. But um, 
Alan is a wise person that he isn't really going. I mean, Alan is not a. I mean, Alan is the fool, and Bob is a wise person who's scared to go. He's sensible because he knows that there is some sort of danger associated with it. Let's move on. First come, first serve. Well, I'm I'm sure many of you might have heard of this phrase, which means that you know if you go first, you'll get uh, served first. Well, many of the companies, uh, colleges, institutions have this policy: first come, first to serve, first served. For example, Delhi University, when you go for admissions, it's on the first come, first serve basis most most of the times. I'm not aware of the what's i mean not i'm not aware of the procedure and what's going on right now but this was uh, first come first serve policy was once in due where you know if you go first and you're the one who reaches first you'll get the admission but once the seats are full you won't get the admission because the ones who came first were served so this is what this means let me read it out for you the meaning the first people to arrive will be able to get the best choices let's look at the example You can't reserve a seat at the movie theater. It's strictly first come first serve. So if it's a ten o'clock movie, reach by eight thirty, you'll get the tickets. But if you come at nine fifty five, I think most of the tickets would be gone. Consider that there's no online reservation. Let's just uh forget forget uh this uh online I mean whatever marketing and not marketing. I'm sorry, online booking and everything. Let's just forget technology for a while and think that there's no such thing. So you have to reserve on the first come first serve basis. If you look at this picture, this guy is rushing to be you know to to reach first so that he gets uh, served first and he gets the best choices available. Let's move on. Help a lame dog over a stile. Well, stile is this bridge, a fence which had which has steps, not a bridge. I mean, a fence which is in between two places. So the meaning of this is that it is said. About someone who helps people who are in difficulty or trouble. Imagine a lame dog. Lame refers to the person who doesn't have a leg. So, uh, imagine a lame dog crossing the stile. So it would be difficult for him to do so because it needs four legs to you know to jump over a fence. But if it doesn't have four legs, how will it? How will the dog do that? So it's difficult for him. So the person who helps the dog cross the stile is considered a good person. So that is what if we if let's look at this example. I think that would clarify the air of confusion. You can't you can't trust him. He always helps the lame dog over a stile. So a person who is in difficulty, the person comes up and helps the people who is in difficulty. So you you can look at this picture how this person is helping the person uh, cross the stile. It does not have to be a dog always necessarily. It's just you know symbolic. Lame dog refers to a person who is in a difficult situation, and style refers to that situation which you are in. And the person who helps you cross the style when you are lame, lame in the sense in a difficult situation, is considered a good person. So this proverb teaches us to help people who are in difficult situations. So we have to help the lame dogs over the style who are not able to cross it on their own. That is what this proverb teaches us. Look before you leap. This means that think carefully about. Everything what you're about to do before you do it. If you look at this picture, he's looking up and enjoying his walk, and he's about to take a leap, but he isn't realizing that there's no place to take the leap. He'll fall down. So you look before you take a leap. You look and analyze the situation you are in, and before you do something, think of the repercussions. Think of the good things that will come out of it. Think of everything before you do that. Let's look at the example. I'm not saying you shouldn't sign the lease. For the for that apartment, I am just saying that you should look before you leap. Just because someone is offering you, you know, a thousand rupees just like that, you cannot say, "Oh wow, I'll grab it." You have to look at everything, the terms and conditions applied, and everything associated with it. You cannot just take a leap. Ah, chalo, le liya thousand. I agree. I agree. Ho jik ho gaya. Bhai, hazar to bahut hai. But that is not the case. You know, these days the marketing is so fierce that they write something and the truth turns out to be something else in most of the cases. so you cannot just uh, take a leap before looking at it so look and think before you leap so that is all for today thank you so much for watching watching patiently i'm awaiting your response eagerly because that makes my day thank you guys have a nice day